Senate Enrolled Act 217 is not a special education law. It is designed for early identification and intervention for general education students. That being said, Senate Enrolled Act 217 parallels and may intersect with special education laws in Indiana. Dyslexia will not be a new IEP category. The definition of dyslexia lists it as a specific learning disability. Remember that schools are not diagnosing dyslexia. Schools are identifying the characteristics definitive of the disorder. Schools do not have to get parent permission to give the universal screener. Level 1 and Level 2 screeners do need parent permission. Again, Indiana Department of Education is recommending written parent consent. It's important that during that conversation, schools talk about the difference between a Level 1 screener to find out more information about a child's area of deficits versus a full educational evaluation. These two are different. Schools will provide the intervention for our struggling readers regardless of parent consent. Schools may use universal screener data and classroom information to provide that intervention. But again, a level one screener data will be very helpful when providing that intervention. It's important that schools continue the conversation with families about student progress or lack of progress as they receive the interventions. Remember, this cannot delay or deny special education services under Article 7. At any point, families or school may refer for special education. One important thing to remember, if a student is eligible for an IEP, please have the conversation at a case conference as to whether these screeners will provide a useful additional information when serving the student. Students may receive an outside diagnosis from a provider, such as a pediatrician or an outside psychologist. That diagnosis of dyslexia is useful and may be included in the student's IEP. Please note, schools are not diagnosing dyslexia, and students may qualify for an IEP as a specific learning disability with the characteristics of dyslexia. It may be phrased in the IEP as a doctor's note states that a student has dyslexia. The school data indicates the presence of a specific learning disability that are definitive of dyslexia. The student has deficits in, and then the school may list the data and specific areas the student has those deficits. It may be helpful to use the six subsets that were initially screened as areas listed in the IEP.